In today's video, I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in GTA 5 with your any low-end PC or laptop or even if you not have a GPU installed on your PC, still you can boost your FPS with your Intel or AMZ integrated GPU. So guys, make sure to watch my this whole video if you want to get more FPS. So guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, so please subscribe, drop a like on this video and video is end time. Let's get started. So guys, in the first step, you have to download this optimization file on your PC. So for downloading them, you need to open up the link from description and that will take you on to my this website. Once you are here on my website, now you need to download this file and how you can do it. So in the first step, you need to go for the search bar of my window and search here, click to boost and press enter or search this file and there you will find out this article one click to boost software github.com you need to open up this article scroll all the way down click on this download button and it will take you on to this official website of the github then go for this code and click on this download button and download this zip file on your pc once you download the software now you need to again open up my website go for the search bar and search for park control and press enter and also download the software click here on my this article now scroll all the way down, click on this download button, it will take you here or to the official website, click on download and download this tool on your PC. Once you download this both file, now it's time to using them for optimization of all windows for the GDF 5. So now you have to first open up this application which is the power control and simply click yes and install this application on your PC. I agree, click next and install. I already got one on my PC installed so therefore I'm not installing it. Once you install it, so here you will go to this kind of the interface of this application and you have to follow exactly same settings. So first here we go to over Bitsum highest performance. You need to select this power plan on your PC, click make activate, go for this drop down and select it on to the performance because we need highest performance. Click on the supply button and click make activate again. Now go for this Bitsum Dynamic Boost Enable, check mark on this box and select out Bitsum highest performance from this drop down. Click OK and guys it will unlock all the core of your CPU for the highest performance. Now click OK and now you need to go for the next step. So in the next step we are going to delete all of the bloatware and junk file from our windows. So you need to open up the zip file and drag this folder on your desktop. Once you go to this folder, inside from the zip file or the RAR file, you can use the WinRAR or the SAMU zip, it depends on you. So open up this folder, go for the Windows 10 gui.pf one You need to right click here and run with the PowerShell. Here it will create our user point. If it is already available, so it's not a problem. So here you will go this kind of the interface of the Windows 10 d -blower. It's very simple to use it. You need to simply go for this customized block list and you can use it according to your need. You can select out the program or deselect them if you want that. But I suggest you simply guys don't change anything. Simply click on this remove block with uh, block list. Click on this button and it will do everything for you. You need to simply wait for this list and once it's removed all of this uh, all of this junk application from your windows now you need to simply uh, go for the next step and which is the cortana make sure to disable the cortana then here is the edge pdf disable it then here is the dark theme it is your personal preference you can go with uh, them or the light mode then here we got other changes fixes like uninstall the onedrive i also suggest you if you're not using the onedrive on your pc so make sure to uninstall the uh, onedrive from your a PC. So guys, once you uninstall the OneDrive, it will take few minutes and once it's done, now you need to go for the next, which is disable telemetry slash task. Click on this option, it will disable the telemetry. Then here, remove the bloatware registry case, but I not suggest you to do it. Then here we got our install.net 3.5. It is important for the gaming if you are getting, if you are getting the crashes in different game, so you can go with the stuff. Now you need to simply close out this application and now you need to go ahead for your location where you have installed your GD5. So open up your file explorer, then go into this PC, open up your drive, go for the GD5 folder and guys there you need to simply follow this stuff. Go for the properties, go for the compatibility, check mark onto the disable full screen optimization, go for the change high DPI and check mark onto the or wide high DPI scaling behavior. Click OK, hit apply, click OK, and do the same settings for all the three XV files of the GDF file. Once you're done, now you need to simply close out the file explorer. And in the next step, we are going to add over GDF5 for the highest priority of our dedicated GPU. 
so you need to go for the uh, display settings then go into the graphic settings and here you will find out hardware accelerated gpu scheduling make sure to turn it on and it will reduce your latency and improve your performance and you also need to restart your pc after changing the settings then here we got our graphics performance uh, preference you need to go for the browser option again go for the directory where you install your gda5 and you need to add here the exe file of the gda5 click here click on this add button go for the option and set it on to the highest performance of your gpu hit save and now we are done close out it now just one time restart your pc then launch it back and launch the gda5 on your pc and enjoy the best performance out of your any low-end pc or laptop i hope so you love this video so please make sure to subscribe drop a like on this video turn on the bell notification and till at the next video peace out